Hi, this is Rebecca Coleman for The Art of the Business, and today I'm going to show you a little trick on Facebook um, that you can use to create kind of like a little ad um, that will be on Facebook that can be like a call to action uh, to send people that uh, you want to go to a certain place, to another website, for example, or to another place on Facebook, for example. Um, and here's how you do it. This is We're able to do this now because there has been some recent upgrades to Facebook. And one of the upgrades to Facebook that's happened recently is they've included this um, bar across basically the top of your profile that has all of these photos in it. Now these photos are the most recent five photos that you have had uploaded um, and that have been had you tagged in them. That's what these five photos are. So we're going to create a little image to go in with these images and that image is going to have a little message in it asking people to do something for us. Okay, here's how you do it. I'm using Photoshop today and uh, you may use a different, uh, if you have Photoshop, you can feel free to use that. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use a free program like GIMP, which is a really great program. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new image. And that image is going to be, um, the size is 970, whoops, 970 by... 680 pixels. That's the size that you need to make it. And I'm going to call it um, Facebook Profile Ad. Okay, and save it. Okay, so this is my blank image. Now we have to create something inside it. So uh, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a little image. Uh, now, I just recently used it, so I actually have it saved uh, in my recent images. So I'm going to use this image, which um, is um, an image from my book. And uh, really simply what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to my blank image and I'm going to paste it. And there it is. And now you can move it around a little bit if you want to maybe put it down here in the corner like that. Um, or you can center it, whatever you feel like you want to do. I'm going to, I think I'm feeling it sort of down in the corner. Now that I have it um, uh, placed in the way that I want to have it placed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some text in here because we want to do like a call to action. We want people to do something. And so I'm going to use text for that purpose. So I'm just drawing a little text box and I'm going to write like my... like my Facebook page. Okay, that's simple. That is as simple as it is. Um, now you could do anything with this. You could tell people, you know, uh, come to see my play, buy my book, wh whatever you think, you can put it in here. All right, so the image is done. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it on the desktop so that we can find it easily. <laughs> and I'm also going to save it as a JPEG and not as a Photoshop file. Okay, all done. Closing up Photoshop. Okay, so now that we've gotten our uh, image um, created, the next thing that we need to do is we need to upload it to Facebook. So uh, what I want to do is I want to upload it to Facebook and then have it appear in uh, these as one of these photos right here in this line of photos. So I'm just really simply uh, going to go to my status line and I'm going to click on photo and I'm going to say upload a photo from my drive. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to my hard drive and find uh, the image that we saved on my desktop. There it is. And I'm going to open it and then I'm just going to click on share and it will upload the photo or the image that we just created. Okay, so here it is. Now the problem is is that it's in my timeline, it's in my Facebook feed, it's not up here, which is where I want it to be. If it's up here, more people are going to see it. If I leave it here in my Facebook feed, it'll just get, you know, a bunch of stuff will happen above it and it'll just get pushed down and, and uh, no one will ever see it. So I really want it to be up here. So there's a couple things that you need to do. One thing that you need to do is you need to tag yourself in this image. And you do that by going down and clicking on tag photo. And then you click on something in the image. I'm going to click on Hamlet's head and I'm going to write my name. 
and there I am. Okay, so I'm all done. Uh, I just tagged myself, so I'm going to click on Done Tagging. And now when you mouse over this, you'll see that my name comes up. You can also do this with your business as well. If you have a Facebook page, you can also tag it in that way. Now, that's the first thing we have to do. Now, the second thing we have to do is we have to um, tell people what we want them to do. We have to do our call to action, if you want to call it that, when they see the image. So click on Add a Description and write something here and this is the place where we're going to ask people to go to a specific place and do a specific thing it could be a website it could be another Facebook page so I'm going to write I would love it if you would like my Facebook page and then I'm going to put the address the URL of my Facebook page now there's two ways you can do this one way is that you could do it by using an internal link and that works by what you do is you um, type the at symbol and then you type the name of your page that's one way of doing it the other way of doing it is just by simply typing the address of the page so facebook.com slash the art of the biz which is my Facebook page um, this could be a website URL, it could go to a video, whatever you like, and then click Save. And then what happens, what you'll see here, is that this becomes a hyperlink. So now, when somebody comes, I'll just show you, and there's my image. And now when somebody comes to my page, they see this image um, in my, in amongst all the photos on, on at the very top of my page, and when they click on it, it says like my Facebook page and then when they scroll down there's a link where they can click and it takes them to my Facebook page and they can like my page. So I hope you found this information useful today. You can find me at www.rebeccacoleman.ca. Lots of tips and tricks and social media information there. Three times a week I'm posting on my blog.